Well, we just jumped out of our chopper, which is right over there. And now we're gonna jump into this one. This is a 9700. And we're gonna load these trucks up here and then we will talk about this a little bit, right, Matthew? Yeah, I didn't want to get out because of the smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, we'll go ahead and load these couple trucks and then we'll, like I said, talk about this. So you loaded one already. Yeah, I needed more. Yeah, I know. I couldn't get out of the damn field over there. They kept coming to me. So, yeah. All right, let's get this load chopped and then we'll come back at you here. All right, so I've chopped a couple loads. Now I'm waiting for trucks and we're gonna do a little walk around of this. Got the salesman Matt here uh, with us. He's gonna talk about this. This is, this, well, we'll talk about the engine here in a minute, but uh, this has the larger display on the armrest. Basically, the cab is gonna be the same as the 8700, right? Yeah. Except we got some foot pegs in here. And other than that, the controls are all, everything's the same as far as the controls go, but I did notice that that uh, spout is a lot different. So we'll go ahead and get outside this thing and walk around it a little bit. Got leather, leather seats. Now one thing that does, this does not have, this does not require diesel exhaust fluid. This has got the 18 liter engine in it and no death. No death. No death. No death at all. No, nope. in line six. This engine here is built by John Deere. The other, what was it, the 90, the, this model prior. Was the Lee Bear, which was the small, lowest horsepower rating on the Lee Bear. So. This is the highest horsepower rating on the 18 liter Deere. Yeah. So this is 800 horse. So this is a hundred more horsepower than the chopper we currently have. 18 liter, 19 liter in ours. The engine that's in ours is a Cummins engine and our particular model chopper is the last model year that Deere used Cummins on their choppers. Then they went to LeBaire. Yeah, that was a tier two emissions. Yeah with diesel exhaust fluid, so on. Ours does not have any emissions on it right. because it met the, uh, it was over the horsepower requirement uh, for the time. The LeBaire engine is a V12. This is a straight inline six cylinder engine. They had this in what, the 9400 and the 9500? Prior to this one? 9600. And the 95. What does Buster have? Yeah. You got the 95? Buster's got a 95. Yeah. the same as ours inside this does have a uh, air compressor on it like a truck and then it's got that air tank there uh, for storage the kernel processor that this uses requires the air compressor why well, well we use an air compressor when we, uh, for lubrication on the bearings for the kernel processor okay the pressurized oil system Okay, so ours, I didn't order ours with the compressor. We can only run the regular kernel processor. This has the shear. That's the shear, no. Yeah, the shear processor. Uh, like I said, that pipe is quite a bit different. They've changed the angle on that. They've closed it a lot more to try to keep the velocity up. Yeah. But, you know, you can see that the shape is different. Yeah. Less, less, uh, 
Well, it looks like we got a truck to sell. A couple of them. Might as well get selling them, right? Great with a fuel fill like that. That fuel fill right there. Ugh. got rid of that blue tank. Yeah, I don't have that blue tank. Of course, I ain't got that one either. But... Well, if you want to hold this guy, I'll, uh... I'll chop a load with the camera running, I guess. It's got a noticeable amount of power. Noticeable amount more power than what ours has. It does, it, yeah. it does have quite a bit of power. Well, let's make this old guy grab some gears. Nah, uh, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he forgets he has a trailer behind him. And <laughs> what we do is uh, to signal to the truck drivers, I turn my right directional on, got to move forward. Nice. And then the left direction, you gotta come back. He don't pay attention. He don't pay attention. So. Well, at least there's no radio in here, so you gotta yell at each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. We do need to get something different for two speed radio, or uh, two way radios or something. But. Quite impressive. I haven't really pushed it real hard, but it has a considerable amount of power more than what ours has. Uh, I would be running right at, yeah, like four miles an hour when we took that wad in, and we're running at six and a half to seven. So we don't want to plug this and we don't want to abuse it, but it'll. It'll take the material, won't it, man? It will. Yeah, if you're gonna plug it, do it after I leave. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got just a little bit left here. Uh, those, some of you might think that we only have a couple fields. I don't know. If too many of you will be able to recognize this feel, but when they came out with the 9000 series chopper, it was a 9800. That was cruising around the East Coast. Yep. And uh, we demoed that in this field. And we actually ran three choppers right over there. Uh, right up about where that chopper and Matt's truck is sitting. Ran three choppers up through, chopping on to uh, Jared. And then when they came out with the 9900, we used that chopping hay right across the road. But this is the halfway point between us and Kaz, and it just works out better that way for us to do these demonstrations in this area. So we've got just a little bit left here. And then we'll have this field done. Yeah.
Well, we are just getting done here for the night. I have blown both machines off and the demo of this 9700 went exceptionally well. It has quite a bit more power than the 8700. That 100 horsepower difference is very noticeable. We just want to point out a few things on these two machines. And then we're going to wrap up this video here. Appearance wise, these machines look very similar to each other. The body style from the 8000 to the to the 9000 is not much different. It's kind of like when they went from the 7050 to the 7080 series. There wasn't much of a difference there. Uh, this machine here has the 18 liter John Deere engine in it. And this one has the 19 liter Cummins engine. They're pulling more horsepower out of this 18 liter engine than they are out of this uh, 19 liter this engine here does not require diesel exhaust fluid which is a nice added feature to these new style engines this 19 liter cummins that's in this 8700 uh, is a pre 2018 model and prior to 2018, anything that was 700, 700 horsepower and above uh, didn't have to meet the emissions requirements, which would have meant that they would have had to have used diesel exhaust fluid on this engine. That's why we bought this when we did. We got in there right last minute, ordered this machine, and we've had this chopper longer than we have ever had any uh, chopper before as as far as time and hours This machine's got just over 3,000 engine hours. I think it's somewhere around 3100 and something and it's got just shy of 2,000 uh, cutter head hours on it usually we trade our choppers off every four years or so and We try to trade them around 2,000 engine hours uh where else can we go here? Uh, you might notice that the pipe, the blower pipe on this one, is a little different than the one on the 8700. They kind of redesigned the pipe and it's got more or less a, it, it's got more of a straighter uh, arch to it, where this one kind of comes up and it, it arches quickly. Uh, the camera on this spout here is mounted in underneath the spout the camera on this one here is mounted alongside we didn't order this chopper with active fill on it we bought active fill after the fact and this one doesn't have active fill on it either and the salesman didn't quite know if that could be a field install or not another difference between these two choppers uh, uh, appearance wise is the panels the, the panels are black, so you got some black accents there in the actual panel itself, whereas on the 8700, all there is is a black sticker in between the uh, grills, if you will. Um, this one here has an air compressor on it. It has an engine-driven compressor like a truck, and then there is an air tank mounted uh, right here on this right hand fender the air compressor is sitting right there on the engine the reason why this has an air compressor on it is the air pressure is used to oil the uh, bearings on the kernel processor uh, the cab inside the cab is the same as the 8700 however the 9700 has a larger display whereas the 8700 they were just using a seven inch uh, display during that era so we are going to call it a night here i'm going to get these panels closed down and we are going to go ahead and roll on out of here so i know some of you are probably saying just buy it just buy it well the um chopper with both heads is 1.182 million dollars now that's list price and you guys can build 
these choppers, tractors, anything. On John Deere's website, uh, this chopper here is um, the biggest one that John Deere makes is a 9900, which is 956 horsepower. This one is 800, so it's 156 horsepower less than the largest one. And it's about $100,000 less than the largest one. Just the chopper itself, not including the heads or anything like that. And again, you guys can find these numbers for yourself right online. I'm not telling any secrets here or anything. This chopper here, when it was brand new, there was only one chopper bigger than it. Uh, it ran the same size engine. It ran everything identically the same and that chopper was about 50 50 to 60 thousand dollars more and i just didn't feel that we needed the large one back then which would have been an 8800 uh we probably could have got away with a 9600 but that had the 13 5 liter uh deer engine in it and it ran uh diesel exhaust fluid so i did not want to run diesel exhaust fluid so we are going to roll on out of here so i want to thank everybody for watching and we will catch you at the next video